We are fighters. To some degree. We get knocked down in business, relationships, the economy, and life get knocked down. The only difference, as far as the fighters we are, is the fact that I physically knock people out. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Fights can be won or lost during that period when a boxer must block out all the distractions, redirect his nerve, zone in on his upcoming fight. But how does he do that? How is he able to block it out, not let it affect him? In fact, use it to his advantage. The answer is focus. The answer is tunnel vision, and everyone in here has the ability to activate and to utilize these resources, but getting focused may be a lot easier for some of us than others. Because things tend to get in the way, but there are things that can be overcome. Like what hurts more, the pain that it takes to achieve great success, or that pain associated with loss of pride due to lack of success? You've heard it said many times, fear of failure, no pain, no gain. These are real things. But focus on tunnel vision can put those fears behind you. Fixate on what do you want from life and then figure out how to execute that. And you'll either get really close or you'll die trying. of what constitutes a winner. For some, it's merely surviving a difficult youth, to realizing the American dream, Olympic gold, to trading gold, company CEO, or maybe the first one in your family to graduate from college. Now, they're all different, but they have one thing in common, and that is that frame of mind that it took to get there, which is a combination of focus, of goals, of beliefs and strategies that kept them on a direct path to their dreams. Now, your goals, combined with sheer determination and role work, can deliver you to your dreams. But what separates the champion from the contender, the winner from the loser? One of those answers is self-esteem. Because of all the elements that take us down the road to success, self-esteem at times can be the most elusive. Sometimes it takes a holiday just when you need it the most. And this is what makes your focus, your goals, your determination, your work critical. Because they have tremendous impact on your self-esteem, which can be nurtured, shaped, and grown to the extent of rather than you pull it along, it starts to pull you along then soon you will be completely confident in your decision making as you target new and greater heights. Now the reason I feel so confident with this is because it was only five days, just five days before my fight with Marvin Hagler that I got hit by one of my sparring partners. The only thing in life that stands between you and everything you've ever wanted to do is doing it. The right time is always right now. One of the things I have realized, and many of us have, that if you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, that is really not easy as some people will make us feel. 
that living your dream, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging. It's hard. That living alone is just very difficult. And once we begin to come to grips with the fact that living is difficult, I'm here, all of my dreams and aspirations are here, and the only thing in between these two is a bunch of work. Always something, you will never ever have a problem-free moment in life. And being hungry for those things. Number one, you've got to work on yourself. It's very important that you engage in an ongoing process to develop you. Spend more time on yourself than what you've been spending. And we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. And then there goes a second, there goes another second, there goes another second, and we can't stop and hold time. And before you know it, you wake up one day and you're behind on your dreams and your bills. Life shrinks and life expands in direct proportion to your willingness to assume risk. Right now it's go time. Maximize every waking second. Do it now. This could be the greatest time you ever live if you control what you focus on if you find a more empowering meaning, and if you decide to model the actions of those who succeeded before you. It can be the best financial time, the best emotional time, the best spiritual time of your life, but you better take control of your state. And if you think you're gonna do it just by today, you're wrong. You're gonna to need to get yourself some rituals. Right now, every one of you in this room is controlled by your rituals. I don't just mean this one. I mean every morning you get up. I know your body, I can look at your body right now and I can guess your rituals. Some of you, your rituals to work out five times a week, I can see it clearly. Four to six times a week, it's obvious. Because you couldn't look like that if you didn't do that. Some form of workout, I don't care if it's walking, lifting, whatever. Some of you, it's obvious that lifting weights is part of it, you can see by that man's muscles. I know, I know what his rituals are because your life comes from your rituals. If you don't develop the ritual, you're kidding yourself. And there are rituals that put you in state and there are rituals that take you out of state. You have rituals in your relationship, you have rituals with your body, you have rituals around your finances, and the rituals that worked in the reaping time of fall in the markets and in business and in real estate, those rituals won't work now. If you do the right thing at the wrong time, you get pain. I'll say that again. If you do the right, you go, but Tony, I'm doing the right thing, but I'm not being rewarded. If you do the right thing at the wrong time, you don't get rewarded, you get paid. So you better do the right thing at the right time. And to do that, you better know what season you're in. And to do that, you better learn how to change your state. How to take control of your own conditioning. That's what I live for. So now it's time to train yourself to do that. Whatever you focus on, you're going to find it. In fact, let me tell you something. You'll even find it when it's not there. Whatever you're looking for, you're gonna find. So if you wanna change your life, my friends, you gotta change your physiology and you gotta change your focus. By the way, how fast can you change that stuff? How fast, my friends, how fast? How fast, come on. In a heartbeat, once you rechange your conditioning, that's all you gotta do. And you can do it fast. You can do it with a question or two. Try this right now, answer this question in your mind and be honest. What? in your life today, if you wanted to be, could you feel proud about right now? If you wanted to feel proud, if you didn't feel like, I shouldn't be proud. If you wanted to feel proud, what could you be proud of in your life today? Your children, your health, your body, is there a problem you faced? Instead of running from it, you finally stepped up and handled it?
could you feel proud of in your life today? If you wanted to feel proud. How many can think of something? And when you think about this thing you're proud of, what about that makes you feel proud? What do you focus on that makes you feel proud? How do you breathe when you really start to feel proud? What's the kind of look on your face that starts to happen when you let yourself feel proud? If you wanted to be excited about your life right now, and you were willing to be excited, you were willing to book everybody else's trend, what could you feel excited about in your life if you wanted to feel excited? What could you get excited about if you really focused on it and you really took it in? And you weren't in a negative place. What could you get excited about if you wanted to be excited in your life? Lousy questions create what? Lousy answers. Ask a better question, get a better answer. Now here's what I want you to get. I want you to get that you can change your state. How fast, guys? How fast? How fast? And if you get the habit of doing it, you'll have a different life.